see, the vision for this local church, like the vision for this body that we call Westside is that we would have every single body part alive and activated. That every single person who professes to know Jesus would also understand what it means to walk with him, what it means to abide in him, what it means to live life full of the spirit. That every single one of us, every single day that we wake up would, would not be confused, but would actually know what it means for me today to walk with Jesus. What, what choices are in front of me today to walk with Jesus. That there'd be no confusion about that. That, that nobody in this church that it would, would feel that's a mystery or would, or would ever claim ignorance. And, and for a lot of us, the next step in our walk with Jesus is Confession. Confession is an ongoing gift of grace in the Christian life. We talk about it a lot, but specifically confession here of sexual sin. This is a stronghold and is the beginning. It is a place where if the enemy gets us here, if our lives are, if we're stuck here, it is very, very hard to be free in so many other areas. That's why it's a stronghold. And if we want restoration, if we want healing, then it begins with calling it like it is. It starts by trusting Jesus' love and grace enough to stop hiding. It starts with confession. And that's what we're getting ready to lean into here together this week. On Good Friday, 10 a.m., we'll have another live stream. We have, Good Fridays are always an important part for us at church. Things will look different this year, as, as Nat mentioned on the front. Good Friday, Easter will both look a little bit different, but with Good Friday, we really want to make some space for confession. And and so what what we're calling you to do now in the lead up to that over these next four days is to really pray the prayer that we talked about last week, this prayer for the Spirit to search us. And and you know, when it comes to confession, we want uh, want to help you with this. This week, I want to put some things out to to the body. We'll figure out a way to do that. whether it's by video or podcast, whatever we do, we'll put some things out to the body on confession. We've taught on confession before. You can go back to the Become series and and re-listen that sermon to understand more of what this means. But we specifically want to help help you know how how to receive confession from another person in the body and how to pray for each other. Because that's the meaning of James 5, 16, which says, therefore, confess your sins to one another and pray for one another that you may be healed. See, we're meant to do this as a body together. You don't have to go to a priest to confess your sins. And we don't forgive each other of our sins, but but there is a healing power that happens when we bring things into light, not just between us and the Lord, but we actually bring it to somebody else. And we have nothing, no reason to be afraid of that. No reason, because there's no shame that holds us. And God's love, we can't be separated from it by anything. And he wants you to actually experience. He wants to give you a tangible experience of his grace, a tangible experience of his love. We have men's groups and women's groups and then they're continuing to, to, to meet even digitally through this time. We want to walk with you, but I want you to know as we wrap this up that healing and restoration is being offered to us. Healing and restoration is being offered to us and confession is the way there. Confession is the way there and this, this, this needs to break. This stronghold in Jesus' church needs to break.